Welcome to Hotkeys presented by Intel Gamer Days. On this episode, we're diving into Monster Hunter World for the PC. We'll be discussing its launch issues as well as what events we can expect in the coming months. Plus, we'll go hands-on with a hunt. All that and details about the Intel Gamer Days giveaway coming up on Hotkeys. Joining me, Monster Hunter veteran Casey DeFridis, as well as IGN's PC editor Tom Marks to discuss the quality of the PC port, as well as some events that are going to be coming to Monster Hunter World for the PC folks, especially the, the Wiggler head. We're all very excited for that the one. The most important event to happen in gaming history in the last, like, you know, decade or so. Yeah, the most important piece of armor or gear in any game period, but we'll get to that. Tom, let's talk about the quality of the Steam port, because I think yeah. largely you and I had a positive experience. I had a ton of crashing, but they patched that in the beta. Uh, we both got access to it early. I have 50 or so hours into it, but it went up on Steam, and as of the recording of this video, it's got 46% positive, yeah. which is not good. It's gonna hit hard. This is one of those difficult ports where there's not an answer. It's so easy to want to go into uh, PC ports and analyzing ports and that sort of thing and just be like, this is a good port or this is a bad port. Monster Hunter World's port is very gray. It's right in the middle where it runs really, really well for the people that can connect, right? And then it has connection issues that some people are experiencing. Then you also have issues where like some people are getting high CPU usage, which we did, but that didn't really affect my gameplay. Like I haven't had any crashing issues. I've had one problem where I can't connect to a friend while they're playing an assigned quest, mm -hmm. which is like, really annoying and very frustrating, but like that's a very, very small case that that's been happening to me. There's also some things, like you said with DeNovo, like I, I hate DRM, I think DRM is pointless, I think DRM has been proven time and time Historically, again. Historically, it's got a very bad reputation. Historically, it also hasn't worked. I was I, surprised it didn't have an open beta. Like, right. it really felt there, there was one yeah. for PS4. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure they've been developing on that platform for long enough to the point where they're not necessarily um, yeah. Doing that for testing purposes, but more for promotion. That's one purposes. of the reasons why they took so long to come out on PC, because it was the Monster Hunter team's first time coming out with a PC game, so they yeah. wanted to make sure that they did a really good job with the port. I mean, from what I played with the stream that we did, it runs really well. The loading screens are significantly better than what they are in console. Yeah, my experience with the Monster Hunter World PC port has been, by and large, very, very good. And I think that a lot of people who will play this game will have a similar experience. But that doesn't mean everyone, and it sucks for the people that don't. Trainers are something that have come out. I used to use them for Diablo 2, open battlement, way back in the day. My <laughs> character used to have a glowing white aura and shoot lasers out. And cheating was something that was kind of fun. And now, it's a completely dirty word, especially in the online space, especially in the progression-based RPG space. It's being affected in a lot of crappy ways. Uh, Casey, is there any silver lining? For, for folks who are concerned about cheating here. If you can bring a trainer on and change the parameters of the game and bring that online, so if you can maybe make it so that you never lose HP regardless of how much you're hit, that is something that will completely change the experience for a lot of players because the only reason that you play Monster Hunter is to get better and to, to be able to finally beat the things that you've been facing for this whole yeah. time. So if someone comes on and is able to just wipe the floor with that Teoster you've been fighting for 14 times, and they do it in five <laughs> seconds, it takes away your sense of accomplishment. So the thing with Monster Hunter is even if you have the best gear, if you're not good at the game, you're not good at the game, you're still going to get wiped, you're still going to get carded. There's nothing you can do about that. And so the, <laughs> well, that's, that's the first time I've ever heard that, and I like it. <laughs> well, in Monster Hunter, because that's what happens. Yeah. If, you, if you die, the, the felines come and they put you on a cart and they wheel you away. <laughs> I mean, you, you get, get carded, carded bro. <laughs> but that's one of the issues that I found when I, I was in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, I would play with randoms, and when people would die constantly, I assumed it's because their gear wasn't up to par. But more often than not, I would look at their gear and they would often have 50 to 100 defense more than me. They just yeah. weren't good. <laughs> so, like, nothing nothing can save you from being bad, but if you can break the parameters, then that, then, then that takes away the fun of anyone that you play with. So, for example, the Final Fantasy crossover event right now uh, has Behemoth, and Behemoth is incredibly difficult. He is so hard. And so the people that you see with the Dragoon armor and with the Moogle uh, Palico, you know that they have accomplished something great. They've but earned it. You, they really earned yeah. it. But if you can cheat and just add that into the game, you don't even know who to respect and who to yeah. <laughs> and who not yeah. to anymore. Let's brighten the mood by talking about the Wiggler head and events. You talked about Behemoth. When can we expect some of these events on PC that PS4 have had? 
So right now the events out for the PC uh, port of Monster Hunter are the same events that came out first for the console game. So they're kind of coming out in the same order that they did on console. They will come out in a similar cadence and especially the bigger updates like Devil Joe, Lunastra, and Behemoth that comes with the Final Fantasy uh, crossover will come out faster than they did for console. So look for those pretty soon and same with the Street Fighter, Devil May Cry, and Mega Man collaborations, those will also be coming to the PC port. They haven't said exactly when. So. That's, that's really nice to hear too mm -hmm. for me as someone who never played on the console and is now coming in because I, I remember seeing the Wiggler Head event and being like, oh my God, maybe I should just maybe I should just start right now, get to this Wiggler Head. And I'm, I'm glad to hear that it's it's gonna be a similar thing. We're basically just kind of restarting a little mm -hmm. bit for the PC. Yeah. It, it makes me feel like I'm not missing out on anything, yeah. which I was worried about. Fantastic. All right, well, off to a rocky start with Monster Hunter World PC. However, hopefully fixes and certainly events coming down the line. Tom, I wanna thank you so much for joining us in Talking Shop. Stick around because Casey and I are going to be going on a hunt, but first. Starting September 1st, Intel is giving away a ton of prizes, including a Hades Canyon PC, a trip to the IEM eSports event, and even a VIP tour of Epic Studios to see the magic behind Fortnite. Check back with hotkeys and this link, gamerdays.intel.com, through September 16th for limited time only deals and a chance to win some great prizes. All right, here we go. We're gonna be fighting a Rathian. I will be hunting a Rathian. Casey is using my account, and I'm using Tom Mark's mm -hmm. account because sharing is caring. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, you used all my mats, no problem. <laughs> Definitely not heard about that. Uh, we are gonna be watching Casey's gameplay, though, so if you see anything cool happen, it's probably her. Uh, what are you, what, what's your setup? What are, you, what are you using? I'm just using a lance with whatever armor you already had. So Great. this is not a good setup. Uh, it's not a good armor set uh, for lance. <laughs> You want to have max guard and preferably Aragon's protection and also uh, a sharpness tool. Oh well. We're here. We're here. The Raffian is here. He is looking. She's big. She is big. You're going for it. All right, let's do this. Um, <laughs> I am using the longsword. I'm a big fan. Start the timers, folks. <laughs> um, this sword is completely inadequate for <laughs> the damage numbers I'm putting up are not great, but that's okay. Is it inadequate though? It might be fine. It's all about skill, right? That's what's more important. Um, I do like the longsword a lot for this fight, just because... It can actually reach her. <laughs> yeah, right. Getting up there, being able to harass the tail is very nice. And do a little, a little spin. Goes her moves. That tail sway. Show me your moves. I totally missed that tail. Oh, I got a move. Yes. Well done, me. Um, so, for those who don't know, the longsword basically has this, ooh, it's all about landing that final attack in the heavy combination to go up to the next kind of meter level. Uh, and then eventually you can do some really, really cool stuff, which I will show off for sure. Oof. And Casey, the lance is, uh, talk me through, that's the gun lance or just the lance? This is just the regular lance. And yeah. so another cool thing with the lance um, is that you can do counter moves. And I'm not landing it a whole lot with this setup because without, um, some of the skills that you usually have with Lance that reduces the amount of knockback that you get with the hits, you can't react as fast mm -hmm. as you can without. So a lot of my, um, sorry, <laughs> a lot of my counters are delayed. Um, but it's very defensive oh, weapon, geez. obviously. I mean, you've got a giant shield, so as long as you're timing your shields right, you can pretty much save yourself from anything, as long as you're paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I. And you can also do this cool thing where you can charge and jump. Like, that is cool. That is very cool. Uh, and now I'm, I'm getting to the place where I have to spend my meter or else it's gonna go away. And I didn't hit that one, so I'm, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and do this really flashy attack. Let's see if I land it. Here it comes. Didn't land it. Ugh. That's okay. Thankfully that doesn't eat anything. Um, if you hit though, it does. Here it comes. And get cool. this for sure. Boom, Knocked up in the air. Down. Coming down with a combo, there it is. Now we're just going ham. Trying to get that tail, which is uh, in the ground. It is in the ground, but I think we're hitting it. I mean, I, I often wonder, like, there it is. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Another really good skill to have when you're playing with other people is a flinch free. And even just one level of flinch free is really great because then you won't get interrupted by your teammates' attacks. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing until I started playing with people and then... Yeah, it's really annoying, especially with uh, longsword and dual blade users. 
Let's farm this tail. <laughs> yeah. Which is exactly what I'm using, so. Ha No. Come on, come down. Can't hit you when you're 40 feet in the air. Boom! I love that attack. It is so cool, except when you get knocked down in the middle of the air. Then it's, it's rough. Cool. I just mounted her when she oh, hit her yeah. back. Good job. Ooh. Those skills. So the cool thing about um, mounting, so I know it uh, prompts you to brace with R1, but instead of bracing, you can just move to a different part of the monster's body and you won't have to brace at all and you can keep attacking. If you break certain parts of the monster, you will get a higher chance of drops and some of them oh, you yeah. need to break parts of the monster to even get that possibility. So a lot of times uh, when you're looking for gems, it recommends you to carve the tail or break the back to get those. Mm. So unless you do that, it's very difficult to get. Got it. That is helpful. I need to sharpen. I'm Hopefully just. she'll be tired long I'm just, enough. Oh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'll get it this time <laughs> though. Here we go. Yep. All right. Yep. Run away a little bit. Yeah. Nice. I, Very sad. The sword and shield is definitely my preferred weapon. It's just with Rathi and I just find it a lot easier with Lance because it's mm. difficult to hit her because she's so tall. Fighting like Iana with the sword and shield was obnoxious because again, it's tall and it flies a lot. Yeah. Um, solo anyway. When I'm with people playing uh, sword and shield with things like Rathi and Rathless and like Yana is really great because I'm always prepared with flash pods. And whenever those monsters go into the air, I can immediately flash pod it. And that Super really helps helpful. support. Yes. My teammates. Yeah, because otherwise it's, there's just a lot more mobility. It's going to fly away, X, Y, Z. Especially Rathalos. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, Rathalos is, Rathalos is the biggest jerk of all time. Oh, I hate him so much. Though, like, the Rathian and Rathalos fights are just great. Uh, the, my least favorite monster to fight is Diablos so far. He's... Is she limping? Yeah. The, uh, the ground tunneling for Diablos, I just couldn't get the timing right. Ooh, nicely done. Well done! I'm gonna, oh, I caught the stupid Absaros! No, it's a bear off. Just kidding. Okay. Oh, God. She's stunned. Man, I was gonna capture her right <laughs> here, and bear was gonna come in and take my trap oh, away well. from me. Oh, yeah. Nice. Didn't hit. Okay. Aww. We'll pretend it did. It looks like it did. It did. Yeah, sometimes the hitbox is a little bit weirder. Oh, it's already broken. Nice. There it is. Good that job. was quick. We beat the low rank Raffian. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we talked about the PC port, some of the issues it's facing, and some of the things uh, that if you're playing it, you can look forward to. Uh, for all things Monster Hunter, you're already in the right place here at IGN. And for all things PC gaming, keep watching Hot Keys.